What if I told you that the United States once had a secret plan to nuke the moon? Yes, you heard that right. Back in the late 1950s, as the Cold War tensions were heating up, the U.S. Air Force came up with a bold and, frankly, terrifying idea. To detonate a nuclear bomb on the surface of the moon. Why? To send a message to the Soviet Union and the rest of the world. This is the insane story of Project A-119, the U.S. plan to turn the moon into a nuclear testing ground. The late 1950s was a time of extreme tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. The Cold War wasn't just about nuclear weapons and espionage. It extended beyond Earth's atmosphere. On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite. This event shocked the world and sent the U.S. into a frenzy. Suddenly, Americans felt vulnerable. If the Soviets could send a satellite into space, what was stopping them from putting nuclear weapons in orbit? The U.S. needed to respond, and fast. But they weren't just looking at launching satellites. Some within the military wanted to go bigger, louder, and more terrifying. In 1958, the U.S. Air Force, working with scientists from the Illinois Institute of Technology, began a top-secret study called a study of lunar research flights, better known today as Project A-119. The goal? To detonate a nuclear bomb on the moon. The idea was that a bright explosion would be visible from Earth, proving that the U.S. was technologically superior to the Soviets. This theatrical display of power was meant to boost public morale and intimidate America's enemies. A team of scientists, including Leonard Rifle, and a young Carl Sagan was brought in to study the effects of a nuclear explosion in space. At first, they considered using a hydrogen bomb, one of the most powerful weapons on Earth. But there was a problem. It was too heavy to launch with the available rockets. So instead, they decided on a W-25 warhead, a much smaller nuke with a 1.7 kiloton yield. For comparison, the bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of around 15 kilotons. The plan was to launch the bomb, send it toward the dark side of the moon, and detonate it on impact. The explosion would create a massive dust cloud, illuminated by the sun, making it visible from Earth. The scientific benefits? Some scientists believed it could provide insight into lunar composition and planetary astronomy. But let's be honest, this was all about Cold War posturing. As wild as it sounds, Project A-119 almost happened. The technology to pull it off was within reach, and the Air Force was serious about moving forward. But in January 1959, the project was quietly canceled. Why? 1. The risks outweighed the rewards. If something went wrong, the missile could fall back to Earth, creating an international disaster. 2. Scientific concerns. A nuclear explosion could contaminate the moon, making future exploration difficult. 3. Public backlash. Leaders realized that a moon landing would be far more impressive and inspiring than blowing it up. Believe it or not, the Soviets had a similar plan. In 1958, Soviet scientists proposed Project E-4, which involved detonating a nuclear bomb on the moon for the exact same reasons, to prove their power. However, like the Americans, they also scrapped the idea due to concerns about safety and reliability. For decades, Project A-119 remained a classified secret. Then, in 1999, while researching the life of Carl Sagan, writer Kie Davidson discovered that Sagan had accidentally leaked classified information about the project in a scholarship application. Shortly after, Leonard Reifel, the scientist who led the project, confirmed its existence and revealed even more shocking details. He admitted he was horrified that such a plan was ever considered. The revelations caused a stir. But by then, 
Treaties like the Outer Space Treaty of 1967 had already made nuclear weapons in space illegal. What if it had happened? Imagine if Project A-119 had gone through. Instead of Neil Armstrong's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, we could have been looking at a charred radioactive moon. Thankfully, cooler heads prevailed. Instead of making the moon a Cold War battleground, humanity chose to explore and walk on its surface. So the next time you look up at the moon, just remember, it could have been a very different story. What do you think about Project A-119? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like for more crazy stories from history.